Story, story. Story, mom and child. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, um, good Yes, today we are going to talk about or tell another story. And this story is about a boy called Mesamba. <laughs> Mesamba was a boy who grew up in the, in the one village in the northwest region of Cameroon. He was known to be a courageous person. Because in the night, everybody was sure to go to bed or to be indoors, even when they were villagers were still preparing food for their dinner. Mesama was the only person who was courageous to go outside to maybe throw dirty water. As we can see on the picture, everybody is void, only animals can be found outside. But now, Mesama was somebody who was very courageous to go outside, and that is why one day. The mother sent Mesama on the second picture to go and throw dirty water outside. Mesama was out. He was alone. And all of a sudden, Mesama saw one flashing light, a rock rushing and passing in front of their, their house. He was terrified. He was obliged to run because he did not know where this star was coming from. No, where, no, neither did he know where it was going to. And then, what did he do? He rushed back to the house. We can see that before Musama rushed into the house, the star or the drop, the bright light has passed their house and was rushing away, dashing into the air, dashing into the earth's, earth's surface. But when Musama got into the house, only the mother could explain to him what was going on. Children, are you getting me? Yes, I'm good. And then when he went, the mother told him. Misama was the only person who the picture were. Misama, uh, his mother was the only person to explain to him what was where the star was or where the, this rock was and where it was going to. And then the mother said that this star was from the God, this rock was from the God and these rocks always come when the gods want to talk to the villagers. The mother said that when the rock is passing downwards, that this flashing light was going downward, it means ill luck. It means that people were going to die. If you were the one, will you be afraid, children? Yes, I would. Yeah, but, uh, and yes, really, you needed to be afraid because who, you do not, nobody likes ill luck, right? People die, poor harvest. Uh, but one fortunate, one interesting thing that the mother of Musama told him was that, when this light was passing upwards, there was going to be good luck. Good luck means that the villagers were going to enjoy perfect health and they were going to have big harvests, high crop yields. And that is how the village he explained. And that even when this, that God could send that only fortunate people could see, could see this rock or this time only the fortunate people so Musama was considered to be fortunate a lucky person because no other person in their farm and his family saw this star except him and that is why one day when Musama was going out he saw the star again he thought that it may be a ghost but he remember that this was the star the voice of the gods and that the star was going upwards and then Musama was wow, he was excited. On, on the picture, we see that he is not longer afraid because he already knows that the gods are saying something. The gods are saying that this year will be a good year. People will not be sick, people will have enough food to eat. And then that is how Musama grew up peacefully. He was not more afraid of this star that was going, uh, coming in the night. Children, have you ever seen a bright star running past the air in the night? No. Really? It means that you have not been fortunate like Musama. You need to frequent yourself in the night, going out in the night before you will ever see this. Uncle, please, I want to tell you a question. Yes, ask a question. Do you see that, that, that star? Yes. And do you know something? Musama was your uncle. He saw this two times. Yes. 
Just consider that he saw it two times. Yes, I saw it twice. And I did not know where this I thought that it was the gods talking. But do you know what, children? I have learned, I grew up to learn. Big history teaches me now that these stars or these rock form flashy lights, they move in the earth's atmosphere in the atmosphere onto the earth's surface and they simply come from the universe they break up from the evolution of the earth and they fall on the earth's surface and these stars are called meteorites can we repeat it meteorite. again meteorite. yes when they reach and touch the earth they are called meteorites and when they come and disappear in the atmosphere do you know the atmosphere up. Yes, the atmosphere is this air uh, above our head, right? Meet, meet, when they come and disappear, these rocks come and disappear in the atmosphere, we call them meteors. Everybody? Meteors. Jen? Repeat it. Meteor. Yeah, when it falls onto the earth, so we will call it meteorite. When it re disappears in the uh, atmosphere, we call it meteors. Meteors. Yes. Who has another question? Me. Uncle. Yes, Jen? Me, Uncle. Uncle says, yeah, they were sleeping here. Where? Yes, they are already sleeping peacefully. Masama is, can go out, could go out in the night. He already knew. But he did not know that these stars, in reality, they, are, they were not from God. The they were alone, alone from the universe. And they were falling. Even today, we still have meteorites falling. But is that we hardly see them. But they keep falling. They keep, the meteors keep inje being injected into the atmosphere and they disappear. And when they are coming, because of the speed and because of the charges, they bring the charges, the collision, they form light, sparkling light. And when you see them in the night, they are shining. They are very bright. Have you ever seen the flash of the camera? Yes. When they come, they flash like this. Bam. Yes. A story. Yes. Your story. Um, my story is a story. So, a question. Yes, a question. Yes. That it was you, Miss Amara. Yes, I yes, saw this meteors twice, two yes, times. Yes, but it was you, Miss Amara. Yes. Yeah, the one that was always going out and throwing water. Yes. Hey. <laughs> and I saw these meteors two times. I did not know that they were coming from the universe. You go another time.